What's up everyone? Welcome back to a Did I Like It? This is going to be a Did I Like It for Assassin's Creed Rogue. Uh, this is Rogue Remastered, but it'll apply to both, regular one and the remastered. Uh, this game is only physical in the PAL territory, as you can see, possibly Japan, but I'm not really sure. So I imported this via eBay. Whenever I say import, I'm not trying to like sound like I got like all these connections with Japan and I got that crap imported. No, it's just eBay. Possibly Amazon. One of the two. Anyways. Um, yeah, so this game came out at the same time as Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, instead of doing a dual release with Unity on both systems when the PS4 first released, they went ahead and separated teams and put one on the PS3, which is probably a good idea because if you guys know anything about game development, you know that a lot of times whenever they do that, the game is actually developed with the older system in mind and then just kind of up for the newer system. They didn't want to do that because for obvious reasons. So they just put one on each system, which was fine with me. Uh, but this one got better praise than Unity, actually. Um, Unity came out with a bunch of bugs, lots of glitches, pissing people off. Um, I didn't run into that when I played Unity because I had all the patches available to me by the time I played it, and I beat it, and I loved that game, and I actually liked that game more than this one. But uh, that's not most people's opinions. Um, I, think, I think one reason I like this one a little less, this one ties in with Assassin's Creed 3 and 4, you know, with Connor and Edward Kenway and all of them. Um, so it ties into there a little bit. But this is the first game where you play... I think the Ameri I think being in the Americas is less fun to me because it's less foreign. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm not really into politics, but something about, like, a different country's politics are more interesting to me than our own. So if it's, like, American politics, I'm not as interested in it. But I did enjoy this game. It's just, I don't think it's better than Unity. Um, he plays a Templar in this game, though. The first, and I want to say only one. I haven't played any of the new ones. I stopped after... I need to play Syndicate, Origins, and... Whatever that other one is. But anyways. Um, yeah, he plays a Templar. And that is not a spoiler, because it says it on the actual game. It says... You once were an assassin, you are now a fearless Templar. 18th century North America. Uh, and this says relive the darkest chapter of the franchise. It was pretty dark. Uh, this this game does have some real world elements. You know, you go back and forth from like present day to, to like in the Animus and all that stuff. Uh, I think the newer games are getting away from the whole Animus thing and just keeping the game like in the past. But uh, you do do some present day stuff on this one, which is pretty interesting. Um, this is just, it's a, it's another Assassin's Creed game, so I will say I like it. I like all Assassin's Creed, basically. Assassin's Creed's, Assassin's Creed's. <laughs> I like all AC games, there we go. Um, but just for some reason, the American storylines are just so much less interesting to me. I don't know why. And I started out going for the Platinum on this game, but then I was like, uh, I don't really feel like it. I'm kind of over it because it really, it's really annoying trying to do 100% synchronization for every single memory and stuff. But uh, yeah, good game. I think I would give this game a 7.5. We're going 7.5. That's a good game. Don't get mad at me for giving it a 7.5 if you don't like 7.5. But anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.